the scenic hills and valleys of Appalachia, a captivating tradition took hold among the resilient people who called these lands home. Now I gotta stop right here just for a minute. And I need to make it clear that I do not endorse or encourage the use of tobacco products in any way. This is just a historical account of Appalachian folks, their deep-rooted connection to tobacco, and the intriguing origins of this cherished plant. Long before the arrival of the early European settlers, the Native Americans inhabited these lands and they uncultivated tobacco. They discovered the magical properties of the plant and joined its leaves in various forms. The natives, they passed their knowledge on to the early European explorers, including Christopher Columbus. Now the legend has it that the natives gifted Columbus with dried tobacco leaves, which he carried back to Europe. As time passed, the Appalachian mountain people learned the secrets of cultivating tobacco from their ancestors and their neighbors alike. They discovered that the fertile soil and the favorable climate of this region provide the perfect conditions for growing this beloved plant. And with great care and dedication, they honed their skills to become expert tobacco farmers. The Appalachian people found joy in both chewing and smoking it. And they would skillfully prepare the leaves, drying them carefully, and then cutting them into small pieces. Now with their simple and rustic pipes crafted from the bounty of the land, they would enjoy the rich flavor and aroma of tobacco as it was sifted through the air. In the quiet evenings, Old men would gather around, sharing stories, puffing away on their pipes. And as they sat on creaking wooden porches or crackling fires, they'd play a game known as naming their spit. It was a peculiar pastime where they would aim their backer and fuse saliva at a chosen target. This target was often an old bug scutting across the floor and hitting it would bring both satisfaction and amusement to these seasoned tobacco chewers. I remember sitting and watching my mom and papa. You see, they were experts at chewing and spitting, and I would mimic their actions, finding it both funny and intriguing. And one day, my curiosity got the best of me, and I managed to get a hold of some Twisted King Bee. Eager to try it, I took a chew, and I soon found myself turning every color imaginable, and ended up as green as the leaves themselves. Oh, I got sicker than a dog, but even in that moment, I couldn't help but laugh at myself. Through the generations, this tradition has continued, woven into the fabric of Appalachian culture. Tobacco became not just a plant, but a symbol of resilience and community. It was a way for the Appalachian people to share stories, bomb one another, and find solace in the midst of life's challenges. So the next time you find yourself surrounded by the rolling hills of Appalachia, remember the rich history of the people who once walked these lands. Reflect on the Native Americans who first cultivated tobacco, the European explorers who carried it across the ocean. And mostly, remember the Appalachian folk who learned to cultivate and cherish it. And perhaps, if you listen closely, you might still hear the echoes of laughter and the faint puffing of pipes. As the old bug on the ground becomes a target, for another round of spit naming in the timeless tradition, the Appalachian people.